everyone and welcome to I Care News. I am Tomilade Adeyemi Wilson and I'll be your guest anchor for today. The first standing in his presence prayer thon for 2014 will start on Thursday, February the 27th and end on Sunday, March the 2nd. Pastor Eastwood Anaba from Ghana will be our guest minister for the prayer thon. But the revival will be so strong that the blind will see and the deaf will hear it. And those who have lost their senses can feel it. I see a time coming. And it is a time when the love of God will invade our families, will invade every church. And when you come to the church, you will see that the love of God is operating. And people's lives are being touched. People are being transformed and healed and delivered. Let us prepare our hearts and come ready to have a divine experience in God's presence. A new session of premarital counseling will start in March. To enroll or for more details, please see Sister Lara Ezobi or Deacon Peter Ezobi. The Fumi Adewale Foundation needs our support. Together, we can help to provide quality education and health care for less privileged children and adults in Africa. Please encourage your family, friends, and colleagues to join in this great effort. Find out more on www.fumiadewalefoundation.org. God bless you as you help to make a difference.
here at this week's programs. Join the prayer line from 6 a.m. to 7 a.m. Monday through Saturday throughout this fasting period. If you miss a prayer session, it's not a problem. You can always call back for the recorded prayer for that day. The phone numbers and access codes for both the live and the recorded prayer lines are on the screen and your tune-in bulletin. Faith Clinic will take place on Tuesday at 6 p.m. and Digging Deep on Wednesday at 7 p.m. For more information on our weekly services, see your tune-in bulletin or visit the church website at jesushouse.org. February is American Heart Month. Here's a pop quiz for you. To reduce the risk of heart disease, non-drinkers should begin drinking red wine. True or false? The answer is false. The American Heart Association does not encourage non-drinkers to begin drinking because of the negative health risk associated with intake of alcohol. Such risk includes high blood pressure, obesity, and stroke. So children of God, we have three more concrete reasons not to consume alcohol. For more details on heart health, check the back of your tune-in bulletin. Thank you for joining us. I am Tomilade Adeyemi Wilson, and from all of us here at ICANN News, enjoy the rest of the service and take a word home with you.